Um, I'd like to uh, welcome you to the FORCE 2018 meeting. This is, uh, I can't remember, about the fifth or sixth of these um, that we've held under the FORCE uh, name. It originally had its origins in Beyond the PDF, so welcome. Uh, in Canada, we increasingly in universities uh, and public institutions and, and private institutions uh, do what's known as a land acknowledgement. Uh, as many of you will know, all of North America is uh, traditional lands of the native peoples of North America, and in different regions, it's more specifically an area. And because of the connection to the land is so important to uh, Canada and the United States Aboriginal peoples, um, in recent years, we've begun to acknowledge uh, that our activities are taking place on the traditional lands of native peoples. In the case of McGill, uh, it's located on land that's long served as a site of meeting and exchange amongst indigenous peoples of many groups, including uh, the Haudenosaunee and the Ashinabeg nations. And McGill and we honor and recognize and respect these nations as the traditional stewards of the lands and the waters in which we meet today. Um, I'm just going to be very brief. I have to introduce a couple of ideas and a couple of groups of people, and then I'm going to hand over to John for some uh, uh, sort of bookkeeping things. Um, I thought what I'd first do is uh, acknowledge some of the people who have put uh, so much work into this, um, <clears throat> both in terms of keeping Force 11 going, but also keeping the conference going. Um, more, most specifically, uh, I, if I could ask the members of the organizing committee and the local organizing committees for this meeting to stand up and then stay up. If you could stand up, be proud. You're not even in the front. Yep, stand up. Stand up. Yep, thank you. And if you could stay standing for a second, I'd also like to ask the members of the Force 11 board to stand up, wherever you all are. Thank you. Thank you. As I'm sure most people in this room know, we're all not, you can sit down now. Uh, you're all not strangers to this. There's a huge amount of work goes into this kind of thing, uh, especially in this case, we've also been trying a new approach to running the force meeting. And so there's been a lot of work, a lot of hard work going into this. And as you will also know, being on a board, a volunteer member of a board is uh, a lot of hard work. In the case of Force 11, we've had to restructure in the last year or two. And so these people have worked extremely, extremely hard for this. Um, I would also like to uh, call attention to our code of conduct, and I just I hope I can advance this. Yeah, uh, I'm just going to advance till we see it. Um, whoops, there we go. And here, so we have a code of conduct, um, and you can see on the UR, uh, the URL for the event code of conduct. And we also have the members of the Code of Conduct Committee, Stephanie Hagstrom, Violetta Illick, uh, Bianca Kramer, me, Cameron Nalen, and Mandy Taha. I'd ask those people to stand up as well, if you're here, just so people can see you. Great. Cameron's over at the back. Uh, we've got Mandy here. I don't see Violetta. I see Bianca. Oh, Violetta there. Sorry. <laughs> and Bianca. Uh, and you know who I am. Um, I think that's covered everybody. So the point of the code of conduct is to ensure that this meeting is a safe uh, place for everybody for the exchange of ideas. Um, we would uh, very much appreciate that people keep that in mind during their discussions and uh, their questions. But most importantly, if for any reason you feel uh, that the code of conduct has been violated. If you feel in any way that a situation uh, is making you feel uncomfortable or unsafe, uh, please make sure that you either uh, use the email address, coc at force11.org, or uh, you can talk to any of the members of uh, this code of conduct committee or email us. And I believe, in fact, if you go to the URL for the event code of conduct, you'll find our personal email addresses. And feel free uh, to email us. Uh, beyond that, the board of uh, Force 11 or the local organizers can also direct you towards us uh, if, if for any reason uh, you, you have something to report or you need assistance. So I'd like to encourage you to, uh, to, to take advantage of that. Um, whoops. And so the last thing that I have to deal with, I believe, is hand over to John. 
Uh, that's right. So I'm going to hand over to John, Carly, and JB, who have been the local organizers, and they have some uh, bookkeeping announcements. Yeah, so um, the conference is officially starting in 10 minutes. So we're going to be very quick because you have to decide where you're going to go and what sessions you're going to see. So everybody here should know that there is a website, Sketch, force2018.sketch.com, that you can go to and you can look up uh, the sessions for the entire day. Um, you should have all received emails about that. Let's uh, please take this time to figure out where you're going to be in 10 minutes. Um, also, we just want to thank not just McGill, but also Concordia for the workshops yesterday and all of the local universities that have put a lot of time into making Mo the full city of Montreal the host. Um, and it's been, like Dan said, a lot of work. Um, and thank you to uh, Joanne Clark, who's here, um, who's been uh, phenomenal in helping us with organizing this event. Um, so Joanne is the one in the back there who's on, uh, who's being shy. So thank you, Joanne. Thank you. Um, also, there were there were a lot of questions about Wi-Fi. So there are signs throughout the hall that have the Wi-Fi code. It's a little complicated, but once you get in there, it's fine. And if you have any questions, come to the front desk. Um, all of the rooms have the emergency exits um, illuminated. So make sure that as you go to different rooms, you check to see where the emergency exits are. Um, we have um, uh, all of the sessions will be recorded unless the speakers opt out. So if you're a speaker and you'd like to opt out of recording, just let your room warden or the AV team know. It's no problem at all. Um, the room assignments, if you are a speaker, they did change last night. So some of the sessions, that the place of your talk did, ha did change. I did it, so blame me. <laughs> um, but please, reconfirm where you're speaking um, and just kind of make sure that you're there um, with a couple minutes to go because we are going to do rapid fire sessions where you're, there's really only a few minutes to get to the next session. Um, the food, um, when the food starts coming out for lunch uh, both days, there will be the main table that is that it does have meat and meat options. Um, and then the, the ones, the, the, the tables along the wall, the wall that's, that were the ballroom, those are all vegan and the dietary restrictions. But there is a lot of vegan food, so don't just save it for the vegans. Everybody just jump in and be healthy. Um, the evening reception will be in this space. It'll be with this entire opened up space, um, and we'll be celebrating the 20th anniversary of Erudit. Um, the posters, as you can see, are up here, and we have a poster jury that's led by Nicola. So maybe you can you want to come up and just say a couple uh, comments about how the posters are working. Hi, everybody. So my name is Nicola Stikov. I've been coordinating the posters uh, for this year's meeting. You've been receiving quite a lot of emails from me. Uh, we have four poster sessions during the day. And we have a jury comprised of myself, Laurie Coda from Concordia, and Vincent Larivière from the University of Montreal. We'd like to ask you to be uh, present at your posters, in particular the 10.30 poster session, the odd numbers, that's when the jury will try to come and talk to you. Then after the lunch, we have power pitches. That's something new. So there will be two minute presentations from about 15, 16 people. Then there's another poster session at 3.30. For that one, we ask the even-numbered posters to be available to talk to the jury. And then we have the reception with uh, everybody hanging around their posters. So uh, we hope to meet as many of you as possible. And then the poster awards will be announced tomorrow at 9 AM. Thank you. So if you have any more questions about the posters, just come find Nicola or Lori or Vincent, and they can answer that for you. Um, and the last thing we wanted to bring up is that Force 11 is planning new events in the coming year. And one idea that we have is to think about a, um, if you guys want to come up, just a, 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 the possibility of, of working for, um, on an event in South America. So we just wanted to see if there was interest around that. So, yeah. Hi, good morning. Uh, my name is Jimena del Rio. I'm from CONICET, Argentina, and I have been serving as part of the board of directors of Force 11 for two years. And I'm very happy to announce that with Force, we are willing to organize the first satellite event in Latin America in Santiago de Chile for 2020. So if there is interest in joining us, in organizing this with us, uh, we will be happy to talk to you. We're planning uh, to meet on Friday tomorrow during lunch. Uh, so if you're interested in this, just talk to me or to Bianca Kramer that is somewhere here. That I don't Bianca's see her. back there. So 
really happy to announce or, this. Or Mandy here too. Mm -hmm. Yep. Or Mandy who's sitting here as well. Oh, Mandy, yep. that's yep. there. Yep. Yeah. So again, we're uh, we would love to get input and we'd love to mm -hmm. get um, your help. So oh. that's about it. And uh, just one last thing, I'm sure um, given that you all hopefully have name tags now, you know that this is a bit of a grassroots event and we're all kind of just in it together. So this is uh, intended for us to build as a community and have lots and lots of fun. So the important, most important thing is for you to uh, meet people and um, expand your network and get new interesting ideas from people that maybe um, you wouldn't have run into otherwise in other parts of your life or in other conferences. So, um, and of course, be kind to the organizers because um, we're all in this together. And um, hopefully, uh, if you have any questions or concerns, you can come to any of us and, and we'll try and help you out because we're a community. So have lots and lots of fun. I think it's gonna be a really good meeting. Yeah. So then just the last logistics is this is the ballroom and C13 and C14 are just down that hall. So right now you should kind of look at the schedule and determine where you wanna be and uh, make your way to that room. And the speakers, you should find your room wardens and, and the AV team and, and start loading your slides on the, on the laptops. Thank you.